put a nice little repair job to do here. It's some sort of spindle off a lawnmower. It had two bearings on and the bearings of season spun. That's actually all wear on the shaft there. I'm going to say what to make a new shaft or to weld it up and remachine it. I think the first thing I will do was try and weld it up with stainless, build it up and remachine it back to size. See how much wear's on there. And that's absolutely colossal. I've actually remember this time that I have got a work positioner. So I've set it up in there. And I can turn that as I'm welding. I've got something to rest on. Basically will rest on there like that. Anyway, that's the idea. It's welded up quite nicely. I've got the clock gear set on a true part of the shaft or a part of the shaft that hasn't been machined. We'll clock that in first. High point, which is that one. Somewhere near. Getting to the point where we're going to see that's near enough. That's near enough. Right, I've knocked the thickness of the weld off and I found it had two low points, one there and one there, which I've re welded. Unfortunately, I've lost that bit of video. This tool I'm using here is a, a tool I've been supplied by Vango to do a review on. So I'm just having a bit clear with them before I actually do a review. Uh, it seems to be doing all right, really. Right, it's always a good test of a tip tool and you can look at the cut. I'll get down to very near size and then I'll probably use emery tape just to massage it to find a little bit.
it's one or two bits I've missed with a well, but it's, the bearing's going to sit on there alright anyway for it, is what to do. Careful on the temperature because we're only talking half a cell now. It's worked out not too bad. The bearings are a decent fit. If a little bit of bearing fit on there, it'll be absolutely splendid. I've run a tap up through the hole as well just to make sure the threads are. Still serviceable. This is the little table I repaired last week, and I had lots and lots of people commenting about this little note that I put on here saying I should have done this and I should have done that. But what I want to do is make a little brass. Doom nut to go on there to hide that, which is what I should have done in the first place, really. I think quarter whip our taps are probably the one of the weakest taps you can get. This really wants to snap off in here. But we'll try not to let that happen. Right, that's a probe tap right down at the bottom of the hole. We've got quarter inch of thread in there, which will be plenty for what we need to do. using a very small piece of tape so there's no way it can get wrapped around the job no jewellery on, no sleeves hanging I've been very careful now 
Okay, we'll shut the pot off. Right. I can't believe I had this many comments over this miserable little repair saying that I shouldn't have left the, the nut on top of the, the brass upright. Anyway, I've made it go away now. I must admit that looks a lot better. At least it doesn't detract your eye. A while ago, I did my friend Nick a hand the machine a fan case of a big radio aero engine. This is the definitive result of the friends actually on top of the wall to show it. This is what became of the big radial engine crankcase I gave my friend Mick a hand to machine a few months ago. It's been turned into a fantastic wall piece. <laughs>